What happened? His horse recently died. You are joking. I have not. <laughs> I've had this exact moment, but worse in so many ways. And I'm not going to say it here because y'all would stop watching my channel. But I definitely tried flirting with a man and ruined his whole day. I've done this before. I'm going to tell Marissa something and then I'm going to let her judge whether or not what Penelope did was worse than what I did. But y'all are not going to hear it. Tell me. Okay. Five hours later. <laughs> my episode one review of the show then you've already met marissa who is amazing an amazing person sorry we've had drinks if you guys did not watch episode one review then you don't know that we've already taken we've already had a full bottle of wine gone uh we have another one here flying in um we've each had at least two shots i think i've had three i think marissa's had two i've had two and so if we're not coherent there's a reason for that. But if you guys watch my reviews on a yearly basis, then you know I'm never coherent. <laughs> okay. So we are here to do our reaction video mm -hmm. to episode two. How are we feeling after episode one? I feel great. I, I feel love great. episode one. I it think it was fun. a great reintroduction. Shots. It was a great reintroduction because it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Between it, season two and three, there's yes. been the Queen Charlotte season yes. and a few strikes and yes. a delay. Ooh. So it's been quite some time. Yes. And it was a great reintroduction. <laughs> that word's going to take us out. <laughs> it was a great reintroduction yes. to the Bridgertons, to the Ton. Yes. To the lay of the land. Yes. I just thought it was a lot of fun. Like, again, and I've said this in the first time, like, I tend to be very mean to the show, but as I'm doing my rewatches, I'm always like, oh, I love it. Yeah. It's so much fun. It is. And you catch so much more. You do. On the rewatch. On the rewatch. And this is your, what number of rewatch is this for you? This is my fourth. This is insane. <laughs> I re I think I rewatched Queen Charlotte three times, though. I'm not going to lie. I think Same. I rewatched it three times. It's comforting. It's very comforting. Um, it just brings joy to my heart. And again, if anyone's watching this and you were involved in the industry, let's just keep green lighting romance. Like, there's a reason why K-dramas do so well and J-dramas do so well. Like, it's just these beautiful love stories. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know why Hollywood has to relearn over and over again that First off, like women and men, first off, men are watching these shows too. Yeah. Love these kind of romantic shows and also shows with um, diverse cast do quite well. And as Marissa pointed out in our season one review, there's no reason why this show cannot have a Latina lead. There, we can really definitely expand the diversity a little bit. Really, um, there's no, um, not one. There's no reasons. Let's just get into it. We're going to get into it because it takes us a very long time to review this. So <laughs> there's, there's a lot. There's a lot to talk about and we love so much of it. So we just keep pausing. Yeah. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to take another shot, even though it is ill-advised. I should put like a doctor, like a surgeon general. <laughs> should I take one too? Only if it brings you joy. I don't want you to take one if it's going to bring your liver pain. Do it. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it just because we're doing it for you. Please for never forget you. that we do it for you. This is all for you. Yes. And then over the course of the review, we can't say things like, what was the word we just stumbled over several times? <laughs> Reintroduce? Reintroduce! That's what it was. Let's jump into episode two reaction. Okay? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, they are getting harder to do. <laughs> That's a lot harder than shot one. I'll tell you what. I hope Edwina made a match with um the queen was trying to set her up with like the, prince. Her, the prince. I hope Edwina Jackie's prince that she had just said no to. I hope Edwina is somewhere with the prince very, very happy because her lap the season for her was pretty rough. Yeah. Like, 
I do feel bad for her at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. People were being very mean. They're like, Edwina's being a brat. I'm like, Edwina's a 17-year-old. Like, I would have been a brat at that age. 100%. Like, like I've been played that whole time. Fuck that. If it felt like my sister had played me or, mm-hmm. like, the man I liked had played me, I would also be Two kind of a brat. adults be, yes. like, playing games. Yes. And she dressed them down yes. very maturely. Very maturely. I felt like she was absolutely right to do what she did. Like, give me more of this chocolate. It's delicious, oh right? Oh my God. Besides, I have not seen nearly enough from this year's girls. If I am to... Would you want to see another season of Queen Charlotte? People are asking for another season. No. I I agree. I think the story is best where they left it. It was told. It was told. I think we, especially our generation, grew up with... Seasons upon seasons upon mm-hmm. seasons upon episodes of shows that just do not die. Yes. And I think there's something to be said about a story that is told in a timely manner. Yeah. Oh, you're still not done with your other your Just peach pour it in. Egg. It's fine. <laughs> Get me a little peach. Give wow. me a little mango on that peach. Thank wow. you. So are we. The she looking looks glass does not lie. The looking glass. The truth lie. is that we so some dismiss as common well, wealth. Like the looking glass scene. Well, the cool. mirror, yeah, the mirror scene. I'm excited about the mirror scene. Oh, it better go. And it is coming. I've seen a still. I saw a shot of them two in front of a mirror. I, I wasn't sure if that was a marketing. Oh, shot I see what you're saying. Or a still from a scene. I know she has said that she was happy to be nude in this season because she wanted to show body shamers that she was very proud of who she was. So I am hoping we see, like, a lot. A lot! A lot. I want to see it all! Like, legitimately, I want to see it all. I shall see you later. <laughs> oh. Benedict is not ready. No one wants Benedict. Mm-mm. These women do not want Benedict. Well, also, he's an iceberg. He is. When you try to talk to him, he runs away immediately. He is not in... He is only interested in artists and widows. Mm -hmm. He is not interested in any of the ladies of the time. Mm -hmm. He wants, like, free, unbridled sex. And, like, we all... To be perfectly honest, I understand him 100%. We are all Benedict. You know how to wave your fan, flutter your lashes. No, she doesn't. Often that is all it takes. She has zero skills. Zero skills. Quite simple being. Penelope is just like me. I, zero. Like, I love to flirt, but, like, I can also be a lot. And I fully understand what she's going through right now. I get it. Yeah. I, but also, yeah. like, it's weird that she becomes so flustered amongst these men who... Are dumb. And not attractive. Not attractive. That that goes to tell you, like, where her self-confidence is at this yeah. time. Yeah. Like, it may have gotten a little bit of a bump from the... Makeover. Yes. But she's not there yet. No, she's no, she's not there. <laughs> Splendid weather we are having. Okay. I made my husband mute this scene and I actually did not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time you're watching This is the first time I'm watching this scene. Okay. I just want to take note of yes. the fact yes. that the fan yes. has reflective elements on it. Okay. So that when she's fanning herself, the lighting is all over the place. Oh, that's interesting. And and it mimics how hot and cold she's feeling. This is, again, the first time I'm seeing this. Miata, you can do it. (laughs) She's going to be a hand. Hyacinth is the actual age that they're all supposed to be right now. Honestly, probably, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I really enjoyed Hyacinth's book, by the way. I like that she's kind of a busybody. And she's I besties love with, it, too! And she's besties with Lady Danbury because they're both busybodies. They're both so. busybodies, and she's a treasure hunter. Yeah, she's really... I like her a lot because she's just she's just like this, actually, just kind of all over the place and a lot. She's super curious, yes. which I myself am as well. So she's very curious. She has these older siblings who she sees them living their lives and obviously having these love matches. So yeah. she, like, wants to mm-hmm. know... Everything, everything and no one will tell her anything so she has to go and find out for herself i love it which i love i have to be out with my husband showing him off not in bed and it flattens my hair if- that was the funniest line of the and season it flattens my hair. and it flattens my hair i i do feel for her it's it- so funny yeah her they you have to understand these actresses have a handful of lines yes 
per season. Yes. And they make a meal. They do make a meal of it. Out of each and every one. I'm not going to lie. As much as I complain about the Featheringtons, the parts I would have the most fun with are the Featheringtons. Like, I, as an actor, I would have so much fun with Oh those parts. my god. Yeah. Cuz you get to be in every single episode but not, not the pressure and every is single on you. season. And every single you season. You have security? Yes. Yes. You have job security. Job security. And you get to be the dumb clown. Dumb clowns. You just get to have fun on a show. If I, think, I don't yes. get to be a lead, that's what I want. I would want to be one of the I want I want a Featherington sister role. Yes. So a three I'm gonna try to put some black marks over these titties so we. So I don't. Last time I had to move my. I had to move me like this so I didn't get too much time so for the titties, for the nudity. But yeah, Colin definitely has done this in several European cities. 100%. And good for him. Good for if him. If you don't fuck while you're traveling abroad, what are you even doing? What are you spending your time on? Are you, are you studying abroad and not getting down? You're not getting much of an education. And especially, he wasn't even studying abroad. He was just abroad. <laughs> so he was a several broads. He was several broads. In several broads. He was in broad. I would not be angry for him to be so. a lost cause. Okay, so yeah. here we have Penelope giving him an out. He, which, once again, he offered. Yeah, he offered to help her in the first place. You agree, I am unteachable. <laughs> She's I'm like, not gonna lie, I've lost hope. After yesterday, I would probably take at least a week before I could be in front of Colin again. <laughs> I'd be so embarrassed if a friend if a friend was like, Nana, let me watch you flirt, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> And he watched her fail. That's the thing about Colin. We didn't see him but come in. I her. feel like she can she can go right back to him because she is Because they are good friends. They are she is friend zoning him at this point. That's she true. has decided. So she's like, I'm I'm not gonna be embarrassed in front of my teacher. He needs to know how bad I am. Yes. This is how bad I am. Mm. However, I will understand if you decide you I'm want. unteachable. And you don't ever want to see me again. I that understand. So rough. I, again, I want y'all to know that was my first time watching this. <laughs> I had to. Step what would away. you have done without my emotional support? To be Sunday teas at Bridgerton House. So a few faces I've thrown and I'd truly be myself. But yeah, no, she's having a terrible time right now. No Bridgertons. No and just Bridgertons. with her own family, she, oh which is the worst. The worst. That's why she was like, I need to get a husband and get the fuck get out the of fuck here. Get the fuck out of this house. Anything would be better than this. Like, literally almost anything. Because her family's Limbo already torture. cruel. So, yeah. like, it's like, well, what could be worse? Yeah. Honestly. I know they're trying to abide by society rules, but the Montrecs are too good looking to stay away from each other at night. The way I would not let society... You think if my husband looked like this or my wife looked like that? I would be in separate bedrooms? Come on. No, I'd be right in that bedroom immediately. 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 But it is another pleasure entirely. This is a crazy dress. First of all, it looks like a curtain. It's. It looks like a window dress. It's. It's maybe even uglier than that. Yeah. It's crazy to. Or look like at. a like a like a a couch. I don't even know what would be okay. It to looks be like a piece of furniture. It doesn't belong on the body on of a, a woman. Body of a. It's hard to look at. Oh my god, it's so bad. And everyone knows it's bad. She knows it's bad, but but I love how she's like. I've always, yeah, admired your creations, and I can't believe that I'm in your shop. I, I love that. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pleased with my hand. Now you I love that they show. I should like to trade. Mm. Oh. I love that they show a lot of sibling interaction. They do. Within all the seasons. Yes. Especially with it with the like the morning room drawing room. Yes. Um scenes and the scene like they they show them interacting a lot. They spend a lot of time with each other. They all have their different dynamics but within they, they really enjoy each other. And that's always yes. like the heart of it. The Bridgertons love each other and they're a little bit different than other families because like they actually enjoy being around each other yeah. and love each other very dearly and want which, the best. Which yes. Yes. is is shown in season two. 
I believe when um, they show the first, like the family didn't. No, it's actually in season one with okay. the Duke. Where they show the family all having dinner together with the children too. Everyone's together, which yes. is very, very rare. Yeah, usually the children time. would kind of like be with a nanny and they'd be having and the their governess own dinner. Yes, or whatever. Exactly. And like they would be, you know, off or whatever. But yeah. No, they yeah, love each other. They love each other. Wait outside and we can pretend we are at a ball. Have you gone mad? <laughs> Imagine it with your pen. Like, the are quartet you crazy? is about the piano forte. Shall I pretend to flirt with the imaginary When I first watched this, I was like, oh my god, someone's going to find the shawl. Oh. It's like, someone's going to find the shawl. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the chair. Yeah. And I was like, stressing We knew she was going to get caught. I find myself saying the wrong thing, or more likely, nothing at all. Yes. Yeah, girl, me too. Girl, relatable queen. Relatable queen. That is... Get me in a, if y'all have, y'all, okay, so, like, if y'all don't know, like, Marissa is a commercial queen, right? Like, Marissa books every commercial, right? Like, Marissa is amazing. When I, I will, go, I am capitalism. She, when I go to a commercial callback, th- what, what Penelope is saying is me. <laughs> I will go to my first round audition and I kill it. And then I walk into a room full of people and I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, I'm literally, like, I just don't even know what happens. It, something overtakes me and I walk in and I'm just like, mm-hmm. And they're like, thank you so much for coming. That was goodbye. Um, goodbye. And goodbye. May we never see you again. May we never see you. And it happens to me every single time. I understand this very deeply. I understand this very deeply in a like a, a networking capacity. Yeah. Like I I'm hilarious. Yes, you're and very funny. Delightful. Yes, very much so. But in in terms of like walking up to a stranger and being at least a little bit vulnerable. Yes. Um, to the point where like you can open up a little bit so that they can open up a little bit. No. 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 And a clever remark. Sober. <laughs> Never. No. No. I think my worst nightmare. People always think black people are cool, and I hate to be the one to break that. But this, like this one, <laughs> there's not this one not breaking the mold ounce, over breaking here. Breaking the mold. Like there's not an ounce of cool. So like, actually, I do okay in networking situations because if I say nothing, they're like, "Oh, she's super cool." But like, when I'm expected to speak, I'm gonna ruin your life. <laughs> I'm gonna break ruin all yours stereotypes. first. Then there's. It's awful. I'm going to break all stereotypes I, in the I, worst I, way. I get it. I feel like I I relate to Penelope so much in that I feel like I can express myself so much better with the written word. I love the written word. Yes. I To take my time and mm-hmm. to be able to really process what I'm feeling and how to say it and what to say. But in the moment. Baby. Kill me. Kill me. And then you think back. Oh my god! When you think back to everything you should have said. Oh! All the all the clever retorts. All the clever retorts. Just like all the things you shouldn't have said, the things you could have said, the things you, or the fact that you could have stayed silent. That's the thing. Like if you stayed silent and silent mysterious. Is golden! Like that's the thing. I've always wanted to be the mysterious girl. The like <laughs> I've always wanted to just be as clever as I am on on, on paper at, in person. In person. And I'm not. No, no. We're going to put that foot right in that mouth. And then sure there's will. no way to get out. Yet somehow they shine even brighter when you are kind. Two people down bad. <sighs> Two people down. I didn't breathe through that whole time. I wasn't breathing. Two people down bad. I don't think, I, like, I just. Again, I think the vulnerability that they both have is really beautiful because I don't show that to anyone. No. I am armor. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to show you. No, you show me your vulnerability first. Right, right. Yeah. So they show it in front of each other and then they're like, wait, this isn't appropriate yes. to show because this is not, I'm not courting you or right. whatever. So then that's what becomes awkward. But the honesty. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. It was really beautiful. And the fact that over the course of the season, even though he doesn't know it, he keeps saying things like, I love you in words, in ways like, you're so warm. You're yeah. so wonderful. And you make me feel comfortable and, and happy. Appreciate and appreciate it. it. And the only person I want to be around with is you. And he does not realize that every word he's saying yeah. is, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Music. 
I wanted her to smell this. I wanted her I to wanted smell her it to like smell a fucking it. weirdo. I uh, did too. I was like, go full weird girl. Anthony smells everything Kate has ever done. Yeah, that's he smells true. her all the time. So it would just be, it would be normal for her to smell. Right. All that. I yeah. wanted her to smell it. I, I probably would have smelled I it. 100% I 100% would have smelled, smelled it. smelled the armpits. I may have gone there. I, the, I mean. The, I would have done it. Like a the, sicko. The, 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 the neck part. The, oh my god, the lapel. Yeah. Ones. I would have just been like, let's just see what that musk do. Let me let see me what say. it is. Cheek to collarbone. Or as I watch the way starlight dances across. Colin's a freak. He's a freak and also a great writer. A great writer. He is. Like, it is not easy to write about, like, these experiences and he's doing. And he's freaky. He's, he's freaky. He's sensual. Yes. It's beautiful. It I'm, I I picture everything. Yes, I can, actually. I can picture it. Yes, he's a great writer, and that is also a part of the books where he's a fantastic writer, and Penelope helps him and, grow. And Penelope, who is also a fantastic, successful writer. Successful, best-selling writer. Colin, come on now. Come on, babe. You know what this is. You know. You know. You know. Like, what are we doing? That you compliment his writing. And that's also, like, it's a huge part of the books because he's never heard that before. No. And in the books, he doesn't know what he's good at. Like, yeah. Colin does not know what his purpose is. Like, his brother Benedict is good at art. And Anthony is head of the family. He doesn't know who he is. He's so he's floating. Just gonna, he's floating. And so to hear someone else thinks he's good Recognize at Recognize his work. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's really important for him to hear yeah. that. The long game. You had messaged me at some point to be like, the real love story is Eloise and Penelope. They long for each other so much. The longing look. The longing looks between Penelope and Eloise all season is really, it is really hard. It is so hard. They miss hard. each other so much. They miss each other so much. And, and it, it mirrors the longing between, you know, I mean, we see it so much between Anthony and Kate. For sure. In the second season. Yes. I mean, that's like all we got. But like literally all we got. The longing. <laughs> Um, so like to see this, it's like she longs for that connection. Yeah. She longs for her best friend. Yes. And Eloise misses her, but Eloise is also like, I'm still mad at you. So no. And wants to keep that health, very healthy yeah. boundary. Like yeah. I, I am in agreement with Eloise I in a lot too. of things. So. But it's hard to watch them miss each other. The kerchief also. On her neck. On her neck. Guys, I almost wanted to give a kerchief. I moment same right i brought some maybe i'll wear it for next maybe I'll wear it. <laughs> for next like, episode it's, kind of like, it's, it's giving it is giving i'm sorry for that but it is he's difficult always to know honest. how to act when colin colin is always honest i will say that yeah he's never i think he doesn't know how to lie no i don't think and that's also like very different than other men of the tongue even anthony like yeah. they all know how to be a different person i feel like he's very bad at pretending no he's he well he's not sure who he is that's very and true. he's not good at pretending to be anyone else yeah yeah i didn't wish for her to be friendless See, and he might be all she she's has being now. kind she eloise is being kind here she's like yeah. i don't want her to be friendless i just i just cannot be friends with right. her at the moment right but you can be friends with her. Like, I, she's not denying her friendships with others. Yeah. People saying that Eloise is being a bitch. No. No, Eloise is not being a bitch. She's being a healthy, grown yeah. up. She's grown up. Yeah. Because that last interaction, that, that made her grow the fuck up. Yeah, and sometimes things like that really do make you grow up. Yeah. Just like very quickly. Very quickly. And she's, she's establishing healthy boundaries. But at the same time, she doesn't want her former friend, her yeah. former best friend to suffer. I'm actually thinking about how hard this would... Because we talked about this being a loss of Eloise and Colin for Penelope. But it's the Bridgerton household in general. Like, she lost... Her like, safe space. It's her safe space. She lost Mama Bridgerton, like, mm -hmm. who would have been, like, a mother substitute because her own mom... Like, Mama Featherington is... She's not the greatest a lot of the time. She loves her girls. Especially to Penn. Yeah. She loves her girls, but she's not kind to her girls. And she, she doesn't lost, expect yeah. a lot of from Penelope. No, she does not. And thus pigeonholes her into a very small and... Yeah. A small role, yeah. basically. Yeah. I, I can't imagine if your mom thought you were nothing and then treated you that way and then the way that you would feel about yourself. Yeah. yeah. So I do I do feel bad for Penelope and that like she lost her 
her, her she lost a family. Like yeah. She lost an entire family. Yes, but you're an eligible suitor. Perhaps the most. Colin is a lot like Anthony. Okay. Without the assholery. Okay. In the need to feel like the protectorate. He does, yeah. But he doesn't have the actual mantle of that responsibility that yeah. has made him resentful. So yeah. he still has his... The boyishness about him. The boyishness yeah. about him. The positivity about him. Yeah. But he still wants to protect her. She has two brother-in-laws at this point. God, they are the worst, though. They're the absolute fucking worst. But she does have two... She does have two brother-in-laws. Brother-in-laws in her life. And he's just pretending like they do not exist. No. To be honest, like, if anyone was like, hey, your brother-in-laws could help you, I'd be like, get out of my face. Can they? Can they? <laughs> so I think Colin understands that... Her new brother-in-laws are busy elsewhere. Yes. And so she and her mother basically have no one protecting them. Yeah. And he has given himself that role, which no one asked has him asked him. No, he decided to. He just wants to do that. He wants to be around Penelope. He does like her. He likes her. He likes her a lot. He likes her a lot. Yeah. He's her friend. And yeah. she wants her to be safe and well. Yeah. As you want any of your friends, right? To be safe and well. Till he realizes. Then he starts having them dreams. <laughs> T, Lady Danbury mentioned a musically inclined suitor. Several, I believe. Did the women, glow, did they really make them glow like this in other seasons? I'm noticing how much everyone's got this beautiful glow on their, like, cheekbones in this season. I think it's especially apparent in Francesca, but I've watched all of her in interviews. Yes. And that is just her skin. Oh, well, fuck. Her skin oh, fuck. is just luminous and gorgeous. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay. You're going to stamp that out? No, she's supposed to be youthful and beautiful and glowing. So you're not going to stamp that out. No. Did Celestial display? I sent mine to look for pastries. <laughs> Your wife is a pastry. It's the silliest man. <laughs> They're all clowns. This, these four, these They're four actors just to get, clowns. they get to be. They're having the best time of their life. They, I. If I cannot be the lead on a show, true, which is in all likelihood, then I want to be the dumb clown. It's so much fun with all the other dumb clowns. Cause you get to just say oh, and have. Like, that's the God. thing. Like it is a lot of fun just getting to play. And again, I think being lead puts so much pressure on you. Yeah. Like if you even just being lead in something like a short film or whatever, it's mm -hmm. a lot of pressure. When you get to play the supporting, well, it's so much fun. And and she talks about um, how. Even though she knew it was coming and she had all the practice of yes. being a recurring in, in the first and second seasons, yeah. she still felt so much... Nicola? Nicola. Yeah. Nic I'm sorry, I'm talking about Nicola. Nicola still f felt so much pressure and was terrified. I, I think it would be very tough knowing you've got to do sex scenes and stuff like that and possibly nude scenes knowing that people are going to talk about your body. It would be very... Especially, scary. like, she's 37. I'm sick and tired of her being my age and looking as youthful as she is. She, I have not been able to play does. teens since I was like 12. <laughs> like, I, like, I cannot play. I've not been able. <laughs> I said this in my last video that like black don't crack, but, but that didn't. <laughs> but. But. Unfortunately, I've looked 30 for a very long time. Now, that means I will look 30, like, in my 60s. Right. But it, I am one of those people that has always looked, like, 29 years old. Mm. So I'm so jealous of her. Like, you've always looked very young, and you always have a very, like, energetic, beautiful spirit. Thank you. you. I do. think I think I've I've it's it's very strange because like I'll be called in for younger roles and then I'll be in a room with younger people and I'm so obviously yeah, that's the, it's the energy ten years older than yes. them. Yes. So um so that's been very interesting to navigate as well. But one time I went out for a Disney role that was definitely <laughs> it was. <laughs> in I mean I, I'm like. I'm like gliding into my Disney mom era at this point. And so. I was all, I was about 30 years old and I was auditioning for a part that had to have <laughs> considerably younger than myself. And I walked 
into the audition room and there was a girl in there who had to be 16. <laughs> And, and she, she was, was, like, taller than you. you no, know, she looked at me, she went, I'm sorry, I just have to ask, how old are Clocked. And I was like, I have pigtails in, bitch. Get out of my... my... It's because she could see the darkness she in could your see, eyes. Like, when she could see, like, I had gone through it. Like, I was yeah. married... <laughs> Oh I, my god. I had gone through college and more. Like the part clearly called for someone who was like 18 and I was definitely like 20. 28, 29, 30. <laughs> and like again, like I've said, I've always looked 30. So like it didn't matter how many pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I could have added a few more pigtails and it wasn't good. Well, let's take another shot. Okay. <laughs> I think of prudence as a bonbon. <laughs> a delicate. And oh, so agreeable. Mr. Tamworth, you are so pretty. I love that they gave her you. a himbo. Yes. Has anyone told they're you that you're... They're both himbos. I feel like her and Danworth are both like, they're both equally no, matched. Danworth is a himbo. Mr. Finch. Filch? Oh, Finch. no, no, no. I mean the, the girl Featherington who was with Danworth. They're oh. both very pretty and very dumb. Very dumb. Effortless. I'd very much like to read more one day. Would I would me. love to read more of your work. And the work was filth. The work was the filthy. The work was filthy. And I want to read more. asking to read more of his erotica. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers that to that. A, like, oh my god, we haven't taken our shots. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yes. Yeah, zoo. Oh, okay. Take half. Okay. Oh, you take half. I don't even know how to take half a shot. I can't take shots. I got very good in college. I'm, I got my throat only opens for. <laughs> Lord Basilio is a viscount, and you are Penelope Featherington. Do not. What's about to happen is actually so funny. I am the person who has gone up to a man to try to flirt and ruined his whole night. <laughs> <laughs> Love how she, okay, she's like, he's a Viscount. Like, he's too good for me. And, he, and he's like, no, he's not. Mm -hmm. Do not forget who you are, girl. Which you I know love. my brother. It's Anthony. Yeah. Like, you yeah. talk to Anthony. Anthony's a bozo. Yeah, like, come, on. come on, girl. Nothing. His horse recently died. You are joking. I have not. <laughs> I've had this exact moment, but worse in so many ways. And I'm not going to say it here because y'all would stop watching my channel. But I definitely tried flirting with a man and ruined his whole day. I've done this before. This is very real. I'm not sure if I've, if I've done this. I'm not sure if I have. I wouldn't be surprised if I have. I'm but not gonna... this is so funny. Okay, I'm going to tell Marissa something, and then I'm going to let her judge whether or not what Penelope did was worse than what I did, but y'all are not going to hear it. Tell me. Okay. Five hours later. was with Penelope I I think Marissa would agree that m what I said to a gentleman 1000 times worse and yeah Penelope now has a friend to laugh at the situation about I have no one your friend was like you're a terrible person <laughs> poor Cressida like she has a new friend but even her new friend wants to be friends with her old friend Cressida does not have anyone. Now, let me just be very clear. I know I said in my overall review, I don't really necessarily like when they do villain, um, when they give villains backstories so we can feel bad for them. I don't necessarily think Cressida needs all of this. I, I have do, a theory. Do you have a theory? I do. Okay, tell me. I'll or do you want to tell later? At a later date. Okay. I do feel bad, though, that, like, the one friend that she's friends with obviously does not really want to be here. 
she would rather be friends with Ellie. Well, she doesn't want to be at a ball. Right. That's very true. It's not that she doesn't want to be spending time with Cressida. It's that she doesn't want to be at a ball. No. Eloise is... This is not her. Not her scene. Not her scene. She's... Eloise is the original hipster. Okay? She really is. She truly is. Yeah, okay? She is. And she does... This is not her scene. She doesn't belong here. Do I have any more alcohol? A little bit. I'm excited for her season. I, I want to oh see what they God. do. Me I just want to see what they do. It seems Colin is helping her look for a husband. We used to say so we she's li- the girl in the background was li- definitely listening. listening. Yes. I don't know why Eloise decided to tell this secret in a, so in a, in a openly a stage whisper, the loudest possible whisper. She didn't even whisper. She was like, "Listen, <laughs> listen." She went Penelope. from she went from me like, "Listen" to "Listen, <laughs> listen." Penelope desperate as hell. Uh, yeah, and she's looking for a husband. She needs some training. She needs some training. Colin is <laughs> helping her. She did not, she really could have like lowered the volume. Didn't at all. They did two seconds of dynamite. I wonder if that's all they, this season they were like, we're only paying for two minutes of that dynamite. Well, and also it sounds deranged. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's so bad. I only wanted two seconds of it. I only wanted two seconds of it. In particular is quite bad. It's bad. I wonder if that's why they cut it. I it's ho- very bad. It was very bad. Eh, eh, arrangement is it? I don't know. It's not pleasing to the ear. See those two, Lord and Lady De Leon. It is considered Those might be the only two Latino people in the entire Bridgerton world universe. The De Leons, the cinematic universe. We yeah. see them for a second. One second. Are they Latino? We no, will no. never. Oh. Marriage Mark churning. So basically, Once Benedict have, is saying uh, all these rules are for the single people. Mm-hmm. Married people. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. I once heard a rumor of the trio was written to convey his feelings for Mademoiselle Ludwig's. Do you not think you can feel it in the music? Too much for her. No. <laughs> too much for her. Too sexual, too yes. fast. Too also, sexual, too. very fast. I don't want to insult this actor. Okay. It's. The makeup, hair, wardrobe obviously had a lot to do with this. Yes. But doesn't this character just look so fucking punchable? He does look a little punchable. I want to punch him in the face. Okay? I want to punch him in the face. He definitely, the the way that he jumped to the sexuality. He jumped to sex. So fast. So fast. She is 17, 18 yeah. years old. She, that's just, it's. Um, he looks it's an, 37. Yeah, he, it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. Oh my God. I want to punch him. It was last season. I am fearful of pushing another baby too hard. This is actually a good looking wig on Lady This Danbury. is the best she's looked. Ever. And I'm like, wh- why? Why? We're going to have like, a scene where the hair is down and it's so funny. <sighs> it's so funny. But this is actually quite a good wig. This is the best one. Husbands, whom I took pains to secure for you. You could be setting the mood for later. Albie and I lay together before we arrive. I'll just... I love that lay together for her literally means we just like laid on the bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's very We just sweet. took a nap before we got here. It's really sweet in the stupidest way. Uh, I feel like it's fair to talk about a woman like whose husband is not pleasing her. Yeah. Like I can only imagine at this time period. They where obviously, they're not obviously, they hardly know each other. Hardly know each other. And like the women weren't taught about their own bodies and then the men were just taught to please themselves like I just I feel Mm -hmm. kind of bad for her not knowing that there's pleasure to be had she doesn't enjoy it doesn't enjoy it so she obviously is avoiding it she's avoiding it it was probably her first time especially was probably painful and very quick and then she was like that's terrible I never want that again and her husband may not even know that women can have orgasms. So it could all Because their be, husbands are young, too. They're young, and men are not taught anything about female pleasure. So I do feel bad that... More than women are taught about their own pleasure at the time. Way more. But still probably not enough, considering how young they are. Yeah. In the books. And they do appear to be young <laughs> and inexperienced. They do. And fucking dumb. And so Which stupid. I love. So stupid. Yeah. See, when he... Inserts himself. Inserts himself. <laughs> the best thing a Featherington any of them has ever said. This is 
<laughs> this is if, except for the flat hair. Except for the flat hair. Uh, but in Sats himself, amazing. Second best line. In Sats himself, where? <laughs> Third best line. <laughs> Look at her face. Look at her face. <laughs> Look at her face. Like, it's hard enough having to talk to your daughters about their love life and then to hear this would just like destroy my whole life. Oh my god. A painting in the back room. I think you might find it, well. I love her. Rather brilliant. Lady Danbury with her machinations. Machinations. Lady Danbury can't even help herself. She, she loves can. being involved in everything. She loves it. And she she loves, she's like, you want to see something fucking brilliant? Yeah. Let me fucking show you. I wouldn't mind seeing how Lady Danbury goes from the Lady Danbury and Queen Charlotte to now. Because she changes quite a bit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a seeing. Season two. I wouldn't mind a season of her just being happy. She didn't quite get, like, she got to have sex with, Violet Richardson's papa. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind just watching her mac all over the tongue. I wouldn't mind just her. <laughs> if you've noticed, I want all the older ladies to mac. I cannot think of anything at the moment. And here Cressida chooses not to tell. This is probably the, the best. juiciest. Yes. This is the biggest character development Cressida has had. Yes. Is to choose not to say something cruel. Yes. Huge. It's actually very big for her. Yes, she's got the tea. She's about to Good evening, spill. Lord Remington. It's oh my good. god. This queen. This Lord diva. Lord Remington. Lord Remington. I, we love you. We love you. I know Lord Remington's not straight, but if, if Penelope ended up with Lord Remington, I'd be happy there too. A hundred percent. First of all, so they'd be great. writing Lady Whistledown together. Yeah. They'd divide and conquer that shit. The way Lord Remington would have all the men's gossip. Oh my god. This would have been a better match than her and Lord Debling. Honestly, because Lord Remington... All the people her... complaining about, why did she choose Lord Debling? Excuse me. Excuse me. Look at this. This. This right here. This diva. I love it so oh much. Oh my god. The way he comes in and it's just like, I love Lady Whistledown. I hate everybody else. Yeah. I just want to hear the hot goss is amazing. Oh my god, everything. And again, also a subtle way of doing like a person in, in a wheelchair. Like yeah. they didn't have to bring attention to it. It's just like a another differently man. able person. Yes. And it's not looked down upon. No. It's not mentioned. No. It's just like She's he, a person. He is a person who has grown up in this world. Yes. Everyone knows him. Yes. It's not surprising. Yeah. Which is how it is yes. in the real world. I think it's quite nice. Yeah, I don't think it's the, quite nice. the disability for disability sake sort of argument. I really think it's just nice to be like, hey, there are people in this world who are going to be like this, going to be like this, going to be like this, and we're going to have them in the world, and we don't need to be like, look, here's a person who's like this. Like, they're not, like you said, they're not calling yeah. attention to it. It's let's just, talk about their let's, trauma. Let's talk about their trauma. I think this is handled... She's, she's like, she's flirting talking to, she's, she's talking flirting to yes. and talking to a man. Yes. Which up until this point. She could not do. Successfully. <laughs> In any way. In any way, shape, or form. So Colin's like, here, here. Here, here. It is rather unseemly that Miss Featherington took his help. Here she I did not realize that this was, so my husband thought so this was funny. a dream sequence, like this scene happening. He's like, wait, is this really happening in real time that everyone talking about Penelope? And it happened so quick. So fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I they really just, sped up. I think they might have learned their lesson from season two. Okay. Of like. Making things take forever. There's they, only so much we can take with yeah. our long episodes. Yeah. Because they, they really got to the the, the point very they quickly. They really did. Yeah. I think the pacing in this season is really good compared especially to like season two pacing which was like <sighs> mm, it's actually all rather sad i would probably kill die. myself so they would all feel bad i would die i would i don't know if y'all have ever seen that meme where it's like i'm gonna kill myself in front of someone to change the trajectory of their life <laughs> oh my god Jesus. i would ruin their lives yeah. like that's how petty I am. Like, either I would take myself out. Well, she out. takes her pettiness out in That's true. She down. has whistle down, so she can always do that. I don't feel, I feel like I would be like, y'all want to talk about me? Watch me throw myself off Watch the balcony me. real quick. Watch me die. Now your whole life is ruined. Now y'all have traumatic you nightmares. You did this. You did this. 
the eye will never understand. What could Penelope possibly have done to warrant such maltreatment? I mean, a lot. A lot, <laughs> a, lot a lot. She is keeping her best friend's biggest secret. Huge fucking secret. That A secret that like ruined, almost ruined her last season and she's still keeping the secret. Yes! So... Eloise is being a, bit, a better person than me because I'm not sure how long I would be able to be like. I, I think I would have at asking. least told my brother about I it. I would have probably told my family. I would yeah. have been like, y'all keep asking me why I'm not friends with her. And this is why. And this is why. So shut up. Shut up. And Lady Danbury just helped assist. Spock. It does. I do wish Lady Danbury had recognized that Francesca does need like. She should not be noticed by the queen. Being no. noticed by the queen is the worst possible thing for someone to like to thrust her in the spotlight. Yes, especially. But she did yeah. want. She just she wants what's best for. The thing is, Lady Danbury wants what's best for the Bridgertons and yes. what's best for, in this case, Francesca. And what's best for a woman in this world, yeah. world is options. Yeah, and this gives Francesca. The most options. The most options. It really, really does. But I do feel bad because it's also the worst for her personally. Yeah, being noticed by the per by the queen is like the worst possible. possible. Thing. It's like yeah. second to like Eloise being noticed. Yes, it's like this. It's not. I don't want anyone to ever perceive me. Right, right. Way we've made use of this our is a very everything up until universal now. We have fear worked yeah. for when you're given an opportunity. Yeah. And you're afraid that you're going to... You're just scared the whole time instead fuck of it up. enjoying... I can yeah. imagine, because these people got upgraded. Yes. From guest stars to season, to series regulars. Yes. So, okay. For those who are not in the industry, that's yeah. a big jump. Huge. Huge jump. And to have like a whole storyline based around you and knowing that you have more to come in future seasons, it's a it's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it is. Especially like from the first season where she had like a line. I, yeah, like tops. Like tops? A line. So to go from a line to have a complete storyline to a future storyline, perhaps, yeah. it's it's a lot of pressure. So, like, I can see her being like, I have been given this opportunity and I don't want to fuck it up. Like, I understand that. I, I love this actress because I... That's really sweet. She's such a... She's so, so, so genuine in all of her scenes, but it's especially this scene because I feel like it does come from such a genuine place. That's very true. Yeah. And again, I say this is a person who has hated on the Mondrex book. <laughs> what a hater. I've been a hater of the Mondrex because I'm truly like, this is a lot of storyline, but it is very true. Thinking about it in terms of like their storyline mirroring what the actors are actually going through mm -hmm. is very true. Like we did not have anything in season one. None. And now we have a whole lot in season three and there are people like Miata who are shitting me in their British yeah. YouTube and reactions. Like, who the fuck are we? Who the fuck are we? No one. Like no one. So like I, it, it, but it's also very I feel like they they wouldn't bring minor characters up until this point without, without it, it having something. a tie in yes. to the main characters. Yes. yes. And the main family. So I do feel like this is like they're bringing in allies. Yeah. And the Bridgertons have always, they've always been to his club, they, right? Yes, they've, they've been always, always been yes. supportive of them, yes. at, of him as a boxer and as a business owner. And now, especially we just saw Benedict welcome them into society yeah. and show them the lay of the land and without any judgment. And it's because I hope, yeah. this is my hope. This is my hope. Okay. Because if you haven't read the books, Basically, book spoiler, Benedict's book is basically Cinderella. It's a Cinderella story. It is. With dick. Like a lot more dick. It's so boring, except for the dick. <laughs> except for the dick. Um, but it's so boring. Yeah. It's a story that has been told many a time, and I don't think it has any place in the TV series. I don't think they have, I think that's why they could not do Benedict's story in season three. I, I think they think have to so completely either. retool it because it's just not, it doesn't really work because Benedict, especially the way they've made the show, like you've said before, the, the Bridgertons are so open-minded. It does not, a Benedict who looks down on a person who doesn't have a title does not work in, in this show. No. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. So I think what they're doing is they're bringing in 
um, the others. Yeah. The people who are outside of conventional society that will help change the perspective of the main characters, such as Benedict, to help them be more open-minded, to help them be less afraid of being more open-minded, yeah. which I hope to God. Please do it in Benedict season, because y'all cannot have him out yes. here telling Sophie that she's not good enough for him except as a mistress. Right. It's really bad luck. I would love, honestly, a Threpple storyline. Ooh. I would. Ooh. Well, here's the thing. We've talked about this before in season one. I talked a lot about with my viewers how they kind of set Benedict up to be bisexual and have fully not done that. And I I, I don't, maybe the creators had to be aware that they were mm-hmm. setting up Benedict to seem very interested. He's the most open-minded of all of, of them. Of all of them, but the, the Except gentleman. Except perhaps, which is why I think he and Eloise get along so well. They're very open, yeah. Very open-minded. Yeah. So, and non-judgmental. Yeah. Um, so I think it's going to be more like, and maybe not a thruple, but like perhaps like uh, a, a very committed, wonderful marriage that has some exciting elements of, yeah. of just some play, Him is play like, partners on the More than side. anyone else, again, it's, it's Benedict. Because mm-hmm. they, they, we've watched him basically be in, I feel like, at least one orgy, right? Yes. So I don't understand, like, we've already seen this, and I don't think Benedict would have just turned down any of his partners in this orgy. I think he no. would have been very open. We never saw him do that. We never saw him do that. We so. saw him be curious. Very much so. Be curious about the unknown. Yes. Not perhaps, like, not, like, turned off about the unknown, but more, like, unsure yeah. and curious. Yeah. So I'm excited to see, and I, th- I think the Mondrix are here to help usher in just the open mindedness of who our characters are. Exactly. And to help him have the support system that he'll need. Got it. All right. I'm interested. Guys, mm-hmm. just please just don't mess up Benedict season. <laughs> I don't think it's that hard though, considering how the book is. Almost anything can be an upgrade. You cannot be worse than the books. You cannot be worse than the books. The way she didn't understand what sex was five hours ago. Yeah. And she's currently on top. <laughs> She's immediately. A qu- she's a quick study. Qu- she's on top immediately. Immediately. I think but we I, all could have guessed but that I she love, would be I one. love, wait, coming he's up. He's so happy. Coming up, he's so happy. He, she is choking him. She needed no. All she needed to do, her mom just needed to explain what sex was for her to immediately be the yeah, best she's daddy. like, oh, great. Never forget that despite the cut. This, this is the way. This Wig. This is the this is the Lady Danbury Honestly, wig. Honestly, I need to smoke a joint. This is the Lady for this Dan- wig. This is the Lady Danbury wig that made me upset. This is the one. Cause shame on you. She just wore the best wig of her life, and then and then this. Livingston whispering around the room after hovering nearby. You were rather indiscreet when you told me about Penelope. Indiscreet. She did not whisper. She didn't take her to the side. She said it full volume with a with literally a group of other young girls right she next to her. S- she stepped two inches closer to Cressida. That was it. And the closer she got to Cressida was the closer she got to the girls. To the other girls. So. Okay. Like, so. Let's be honest. And I Eloise. love how Cressida was like, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. But. You but may sh- want to look at yourself. But perhaps you should like to find a looking glass. Looking glass, which is a big theme throughout this series. Oh my god, it really is. It really is. Foolish is being unreasonable about what you can achieve. That's an awful thing to say to your daughter. Clipping her wings. It's an awful thing to say to your daughter. To anyone. To anyone. But like, you like, should believe in your children. Yeah. If anyone is going to believe in you, it's your parents. It should it's be your, your parents. family. It should be. And if it's not, then you live in a toxic situation mm-hmm. and you need to get yourself out as soon as possible. But what like, she's trying to do, which was she was what she was trying to do. And yeah. now everyone knows. And her mom is like, you were very foolish. Yeah. It's and is trying to clip her wings and yeah. bring her down. And, and she doesn't see her. She doesn't know no, her she daughter. Doesn't. Not even a little bit. Not even a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, it makes me so mad. And who is her visitor? See, I thought her visitor was going to be Eloise. So when it was Colin, I was like, <gasps> And this dress. The dress. The. This is a gorgeous dress. Dress. Like, 
I would sit on a windowsill in this dress all day languishing as well. Oh my God. I love this dress more than her makeover dress. I agree. Cause she, I think she looks very good in this like light, either like a light white or a light green or a light, yeah. A light blue, a yes. light Bridgerton blue. Yes. She looks stunning. Stunning. And also <laughs> she's relaxed so she's at home. So she was like all done up and it's a little bit more umph yes. for the makeover. Yes. With the gloves and everything, but this is more her. Yes. Yeah. You read what's about. She's beastly to write such things about you. It's her job to report what everyone is talking about. It would have been suspicious if she had not. Look at his In face. Truth, I brought this on myself. She's like, what is she saying? He's gonna think back to this exact when he This is his, gonna be Yeah, when he has his big reveal, he's gonna think back to this exact We're moment. gonna have a flashback yeah. moment of this because she makes a mistake. She makes a mistake. A vital mistake in this moment. Yes. Right here. Yes, she does. He claws it really quickly, but we move on. Yes. And it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back for sure. I mean, it has to come back. It has to. But like her saying, it would have been suspicious. It's like why? Would why it? would it be suspicious? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? But then they move on. Colin, could I ask you something? I do want to say her asking for a kiss. I believe just happened in the book too. I think she asked for a kiss before they. I don't remember. I feel like it does happen. Would, would you kiss me? You are not going to die tonight. But I could and it would kill me. You would already be dead. I do not wish to die without ever- That was- <laughs> This is one of my favorite lines, by the way. You would already be dead. You would already be dead. I think it's very brave of her to ask for a kiss. I do too. She's basically like, I'm never going to get married, so yes. I'm never going to experience any sort Anything. of affection, love. What I cannot die before being kissed. Before being kissed. One time- I lived in Florida in high school, yes. in college, and I was learning how to surf with a friend of mine okay. who had just gotten shoulder surgery, and okay. we were sharing her surfboard. Okay. And we were out uh, on a surfer's beach, which means that there was no lifeguard. Oh, and shit. all of a sudden, fish were jumping out of the water, and I hear, and we were with a bunch of other surfers, and I hear, shark, 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 shark. There's a shark in the fucking water. <laughs> Going after fish who are literally oh, jumping shit. out of the water so the to try to get away. Yes. Okay. And so everyone's taking their boards in, but me and my friend were sharing a board. Okay. And she had kind of just been cleared after her so shoulder surgery yes. to, to go surfing again. So I was like, you take the board in. We were pretty close. So I was like, you take the board in. I'm right behind you. Yes. So she gets on the board. She catches a wave. She goes in. And I'm swimming behind her. And then I get fucking caught in a riptide and get taken out. I was 16 That's years old terrifying. at the time. Terrified. I was 16 years old at the time. And I just remember, I was, you know, I did what you were supposed to do, which was to paddle parallel to the shore. And I was doing all that. But it is exhausting. Yeah. It is so tiring. Much as... Penelope is exhausted. She's exhausted. I was exhausted, exhausted from paddling. Yes. And I was just like, I ended up just like floating on my back. And oh my God, Marissa. At this point, I was like. Marissa, you could have been eaten by a shark. I could have been eaten by a shark. I could have drowned easily. Yes. Because I was exhausted. And I was like, to the God I didn't believe in. Yes. I was like, please don't let me die. I'm still a virgin. <laughs> Not the sex prayer. <laughs> and that's why I... And that's why... <laughs> the sex prayer. The sex prayer. And that's why I believe and connect with this moment. Because you are willing... If you think you're going to die without having experienced... Yes. Experiencing anything. anything yes. Which is what she was... She was she was, her social life was dead yes. at this point. Yeah. She was never going to experience yes. things. Yes. No. No. So it, she was like, just kiss me. I'm never going to be kissed. No. I will not hold you to anything. You do not have to marry me. Let it me just will have not this. Mean anything. Yes. Let me just have this. And I was like, yes. It's so gentle and chaste. Because 
again, like I said before, if you're one of the young women who used to scare the hoes and boys did not <laughs> like you, you know what it's like to feel desperate and to feel so sad like you will never fall in love yeah. and no one will ever love you. It is every, I feel like it was always my dream to be kissed and loved by the boys that mm-hmm. I so desperately wanted. This is, this is a Or girls. Where, or girls. This is the moment where you're like, finally. 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 <sighs> and it's with the boy she's loved for. Ever. Ever. Whoa! Like, oh, fuck. 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 Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck That me. was great, and that's what I've been missing this whole time. Exactly. Because he's had sex with a lot of women at this point. Yeah, but... but whatever he's feeling now is not something well, he's what was it, What was in his journal was, like, how, how could he be so close to someone and not feel any intimacy, yeah. right? And so this is what he... He is close to her, and he's feeling the intimacy for the first time. Yeah. And we made it through episode two. We did it. We're going to try to get through another two episodes, but we'll see what happens. (laughs) We'll see what happens. But it actually is wonderful watching with you. It's so great. Yeah. I'm having the best time. I'm having the best time. Um, It is wonderful watching Colin realize that he's really dumb. Really dumb and really into Penelope. And Penelope, I mean, and it's interesting watching her be like, Moving on. Well, I, I like that she, I really do like that she tried to move on. I like yeah. that she was like, this she's, is not going to happen. First of all, she's asking for what she wants. Yeah. And she's, she's moving on. Yes. Yes. She's trying to As be really strong, independent woman that she is. Her and Eloise both this season have tried to move on, but mm-hmm. in very different ways. She's like, I got to get out of my family house because my, at least Eloise knows her family is a safe place. Um, Penelope knows her family is not a safe place, so she has to get out of her house. And um, obviously, this kiss is very wonderful. And yeah, no, the again. lighting, the music, all the of costuming. it. She looks so good, and he looked good too. Like he she looks, looks, she looks ethereal. Yes, that's it. that's exactly it. Just like just an angel, just a floating angel. I enjoyed the episode. We're going to get started on season, not season, y'all. Again, the shots. We're gonna get started on episode three here in a second. We love you guys so much. We're gonna change outfits. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. See you soon. bye.